How's it going Aquarius? I hope everybody's having a great week. This is going to be your new moon reading, which is occurring tomorrow. So we'll see what messages need to come through for you. Do take what resonates, you know, to never force anything to fit. Um, but make sure you're watching your moon sign reading additionally with this one. There will definitely be messages within that reading considering the new moon energy. I am giving away two free personal readings for the month of May, so if you're new, I am so grateful you're here. My name is Sam. Welcome to my channel. By subscribing, you can take part in the monthly giveaways, so go ahead and do that. Um, and new and returning subscribers, leave a rainbow emoji in the comment section of this reading. At the end of the month, I'll remind everyone to check their notifications each and every month. And most of you know that it is different what I give away each month. So go ahead um, and leave that rainbow emoji. And then after I remind you guys at the end of the month, you can check your notifications. Two people will be hearing from me. All right, let's get into it. All right, perfect. We have card of three. So we have master number three. Banyan Blessings feeling of security, hermit, a lot of soul searching within this energy, um, expansion and stability. You see how the sun is raining down on that tree, allowing it to be nourished, to be replenished, um, rejuvenating rain, allowing for there to be growth. And then we have card of 18. So obviously 18 is a nine, one and eight. You can break it down to three, three, three. So we already have um, spiritual number three, 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 three. Raising winds, magical release, calling, intention. And you see it's almost like um, a bag of blessings opening up, showering you. I really feel a lot of stability and a lot of you know, grounded energy, structured, focused energy for you. All right, let's see what else we can get, Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. And then a win-win outcome. Bringing love into a specific situation. And this is going to be a win-win outcome for you. New moon in Aquarius, full moon in Libra. So you may have strong Libra in your chart. Commitment. Look at that, two birds. So do pay attention to feathers and birds. Commitment, bringing love into the situation. The ever unfolding rose. It's, it's happening for you, not to you. Yeah, I definitely feel growth and blossoming. And that one wanted to fly out immediately. It's like that bag is being cracked open. And some form of blessing is coming into your life. For some of you, it is going to be a relationship. We have multiple types of relationships in our life. Bountiful harvest, yes. You are definitely receiving some form of blessing. Let's get into the reading and see what that is. You know I love my decks, so I pull from multiple decks to make it as personal as possible. present energy and the hermit wanted to come out which is kind of crazy because within that energy is the hermit could be dealing with a virgo virgo in your chart yeah present energy it says instability but within so where you may feel unfocused um not grounded you're not sure of an outcome of a specific situation you know, maybe um, not an equal give and take thus far. I do feel that you are moving past that what, the troubled energy. If you remember within the beginning cards, you're moving towards stability, expansion, 
um, structure, solid foundation, a lot of growth. So I feel like you're moving out of that energy. Let's see. Six of Cups. Yeah. Queen of Wands. I feel like there's communication coming in. At the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands. Communication from someone you already know. At some point, this was a very comforting connection in your life. But I do feel that you went through some, you know, some troubled water, some instability. All right, Spirit, with the current energy around the new moon for Aquarius. Champion of Wands. Strong fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone who is thinking about you. Almost like in a state state of mental anguish, of despair. All right, Spirit, please confirm who is this fire energy rushing in. Yeah, someone who needed to step it up in their life. I really feel like this person was living from like day to day. It was very like, you know, didn't have a plan. Um definitely was not focused in their energy yeah and I feel remember when it said this is happening to this is happening for you not to you I do feel distance between you and this person and when it says this is happening for you it's like where you might have felt disappointed in someone their actions towards you their instability um them not showing up for you or you know with you to give you that equal give and take Spirit redirected you. You may felt like you were being rejected. Your heart was being broken. You know, whatever it is, whatever type of relationship. But this person was, it was depleting your energy and spirit was redirecting you. All right, spirit. And what is coming towards Aquarius following this new moon energy? Now, remember, we are in the month of 5-5 five, five also. So change is coming. All right, now I have earth energy showing up here. So for some of you, two people possibly interested in you, earth energy, fire energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They may have that strongly in their chart. Um, someone coming in with a grounded offer, a chance at a new beginning that's very stable and very grounded. Now, for some of you that have strong fire in your chart who have been like, you know, not knowing where you're going within your within your you know your career, your finances, um, you know, wanting to focus more on what's coming in for you, your stability, you know, where you show up in terms of work, maybe even schooling, and just not having that concentration to be focused on it. There is change coming. I feel a lot of growth within you. And for those of you that it's in terms of a relationship, a lot of growth within this person. All right, Spirit, why, why is the Champion of Wands and the Messenger of Coins here? Yeah, there it is. Somebody's in their head about you, wishful thinking. They're coming in. They are delivering a message. Like I said, for some of you, you could be dealing with one person and someone that you have already dealt with resurfaces in your life, reaches out to you. This is also multiple possibilities opening up for you in this month and spirit coming through saying, no need to worry. The sun, when it comes in for me, most of you know this, no need to worry. So whatever it is that you may have mental anguish over, that you're in doubt about, you're questioning why certain things happened the way they did. No need to worry. You're moving off into the sun. But I do feel that there was someone that you were dealing with that did not want to be committed. And look what, look what came out, remember, in the very beginning. 
So take it how it resonates, Aquarius. Uncommitted to commitment. Is that within your work? Is that within, you know, things that you want to set for yourself as goals? Maybe you want to redo your home. You want to finally, like, crack down and start working on things within your home that you know need fixing or need updating. But for some of you, it's in terms of a relationship. Could be friendship. Could be romantic. But it is time for you to reap the rewards. Remember, harvesting. Moving past your burdens. You might feel like you're slowly doing it. You may not even feel like you see any kind of progress. But you are moving. The hermit wanted to come out multiple times. All right, Spirit, please clarify what is coming towards Aquarius. Two of Wands, planning. Like I said, leaving certain things in the distance, in the past, planning ahead. Four of Wands, there it is. A lot of fire energy, guys. So whether it's in your chart, you're dealing with a fire sign, a lot of fire energy. So this is the month of like passion, of moving towards your passion, following your passion. But it's leading you to happiness. It's leading you to stability. Queen of Wands showing up yet again. Moving towards your passion with confidence. And what is the Queen of Wands? Making a, sec a success out of whatever they move towards because they have that confidence. Win-win outcome. And I just heard, keep on trucking. So where you have, feel, have felt the burdens have been, you know, more, more so than not. I just heard the message, keep on trucking. And I don't say that phrase. King of, oh, Knight of Wands again. Five of Wands. Meeting your challenges head on. But for some of you, I feel like you're not meeting these challenges alone. Why is the Queen of Wands here twice? Why is the Queen of Wands here twice? Three of Swords. You have experienced heartbreak with this person. And it's possible your person may have had another party. And that's why I'm getting fire and earth energy. The tower card is with earth energy. So in that situation, I feel like a choice is being made. And this person is coming towards you. If that doesn't resonate, that's okay. And why is the Knight of Wands here twice, Spirit? The Page of Wands. This person is taking a leap of faith towards you. They want a brand new beginning. Remember, the Ace of Pentacles did show up. So it is a grounded start for both of you. Yeah, see? Do you see the growth within this person? Releasing certain things within themselves. And look what's it right after that, the Empress, a huge leveling up. But like I said, for some of you, you're only already dealing with someone and someone from the past resurfaces. All right, Spirit, what else do you have for my Aquarians? With this new moon energy. Universe sending you messages. You possibly are seeing, remember we said, Three 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 three. Now we have one 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 two 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 twelve twelve ten ten. There's the passion and there's the chemistry. For some of you, you're aligning with someone very special in your life. This person is overcoming fear, is overcoming certain things within their life. Um and they're taking that leap of faith for you, with you. Remember, it's happening for you, not to you. And I just said taking a leap of faith for you. I really feel like this person wants to come in and balance the scales. So we have strong fire and earth. And then we have some air, energy. R, blank scrabble tile. G-O, 
N V E H A another blank Scrabble tile so you know to always if you don't see your person's full name or initials or maybe your name your initials you know you can fill it in with the blank Scrabble tiles and that is another repeat so take what resonates make sure you leave that rainbow emoji down below um, I'm sure most of you know that I'm trying to put my Etsy shop on vacation mode just to lighten my new lighten my load through the summer um, just to spend some quality time with my niece with my family um, you know so my my Etsy shop is open right now it is completely stocked so get your readings in as you can I may run a sale right before I put it on vacation mode those of you that return to my Etsy shop often just says for energy check-ins you know we we do we can use Venmo we can use PayPal I'm just really closing it down for all of you know everyone who shops through Etsy I get overwhelmed with reading sometimes I will never um, stray from YouTube so this will always be a constant thing throughout the summer you're you're more than happy to reach out to me throughout the summer for personal readings and then we can schedule them you know I just need to be there for my family and I feel like most of you know this already so go ahead and leave that rainbow emoji. Um, I will be back for the messages from your person. So someone that you're thinking about, I'm going to pull from multiple decks with that. That'll be the next session of readings. So much love and light, guys.